Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how you can create amazing stickers using this application called Photos to Stickers. Here we have to create a package first. Let's give it a name. The author. There it is. Let's select it. And now we can add our first sticker. Here to create your sticker, you have different options. You can select an image, a bubble, a text, or you can draw your own sticker. Let me select an image. With this selected image, you have different options of trimming. You have a square trimming, you have a circular one, and you have a custom trim. Here you can select different shapes. I'm going to select this one, for example. And I'm going to place it here. Once you're done, select OK. And there we have our first cutout. Another option that we have is the cutter. I'm going to select the cutter right. And you can move the cutter with this icon. And you can rotate it with this one. To use the cutter, first you have to place the cutter where you want to start. And now you have to start dragging it. Like this way. You can also use key points. First place the cutter and then click on the cutter. Place the cutter and click on the cutter. You can do it that way, but I prefer the first method. That is dragging it. Click OK. And there we have our cutout. Another interesting option is the face trim. Here you can select different shape of faces. I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to place it over the face of this girl. If you want more precision, select this option. And here you can move with more precision this green points well click OK and there we have our third cutout and the last option that we have and my favorite is this one here you can select the regions that you want using your finger like this if you make a mistake like this don't worry just select the eraser and correct your mistake now select again the selector and continue okay if you want to select the Irian uh, you need to make the selector a little bit smaller okay and now we can select we're going to select the other Irian and you can make the image even more realistic Selecting some hairs, this, this other one, for example, that's it. And here we have our cutout. As you can see, it's more realistic than the others. Okay, with these cutouts, you can do different things. For example, you can increase the width of the outline of this image. For that, Click on here, outline width, and here you can control the width. You can change its color as well. There it is. You can select face transformations as well. I'm going to select this funny face. You can change the color of your sticker. Here you can put the color that you want. And of course you can put it in black and white. And another thing that you can do is to control the opacity. You can make it transparent, semi-transparent. And here you have this interesting blur edges option that lets you blur the edges of an image. This option is very useful when you mix two faces. 
For example, let's say that I want to make this face angry. For that, I need an angry face. Let me add it. Okay, here we're going to select our angry face. Now I'm going to place it over the original face. I want to see the original eyes position, so I'm going to make it a little bit transparent. Like this. So I can move it and I can see what's behind this image. So I know that I need to make it a little bigger. Now I can put it back to the original opacity. There we have it. Well, as you can see, it's not so realistic. So here we have to use our blur edges option. And here's the magic. As you can see, it blurs the edges, making it more realistic. So I'm going to put it in this level. We can improve it even more. You can see here that the original mouth is a little visible. We can hide it using a transformation. Let's select the original image and let's apply this transformation that hides the mouth. And there it is. And I'm going to change the color as well. That's it. And here we have our angry face. Once you're ready with your sticker, you need to save it. Before saving it, optionally, you can add three emoticons that describe your sticker. As the application says, it will be useful in the future when you want to search your stickers using those emoticons. So I'm going to use this emoticon, for example. Continue, and there we have it. Let me duplicate it to create another one. Let me edit it. And here we're going to remove the images that we don't need anymore. Okay, this time I'm going to show you what we can do with bubbles. I'm going to add this bubble. And I'm going to put a text. There it is. Now I'm going to change the background of the bubble. And here you can select a solid color or you can use gradient colors. Here we have three main colors. I just need two of them. So I'm going to delete the first one. Select number one and delete. Now we have two main colors. I want the number one to be in yellow and number two I want it in red color like this and besides I want it in radial mode there it is click OK and now I'm going to customize the text I'm going to increase the outline width and I'm going to change its color, the outline color. I can change the typeface as well. This one, for example. And that's it. Here you have your sticker. Click OK to save it. And there we have it. I'm going to duplicate it again and edit it. OK, I'm going to add a text. Okay, there we have it. I'm going to increase the size of the text and I'm going to center it. Let's change its color. Let's change the typeface. This one, for example. Now I'm going to use this pencil to draw a emoticon.
okay and i'm going to change its color i'm going to put it in yellow that's it now i'm going to draw a heart and i'm going to put it in red color i'm going to draw another heart and put it in red color as well okay i'm going to move it and i'm going to move this heart well i want this heart on top of the smaller one so for that i'm going to use the above option the heart now is on top now i'm going to change the background of the sticker for that we can use this square and put it in the entire sticker and now let's move it to the bottom with this below option below 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 until you can see all the elements now let's change its color and here again you can put solid colors or you can use gradient colors and here again i just need two main colors so i'm going to delete the third one delete and here we have our two main colors i want the color number one to be in blue so i'm going to select number one and put it in blue or purple number two i want it to be in pink color and there you have your sticker again save it okay now it's time to add an image to our package There we have our image for our package. Now that we have three stickers, we can add them to WhatsApp. And, and now let's go to WhatsApp. But first, it's important that you restart your WhatsApp application. Here in WhatsApp, you can find your sticker here. And here you can see a new package with a green point. Select it. And there you have your stickers. And you can use them as normal. And you can organize your stickers here. You go to my stickers. And here you can select the order that you prefer. Or you can delete them. Whatever you want to do. And that's all my friend. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below and see you next time.